Hey Buck, I just found out some very exciting news today. I have been chosen as a semi-finalist for the CW Austin Star contest, basically meaning that I would host local events, do red carpet interviews, do all the social networking for the CW Austin, and it's really cool because I feel just like you did when you were wanting to be co-host for the day on Live with Kelly, and I supported you throughout that whole thing. I'm so happy that you won, and now I'm looking for a little bit of support from you and hoping that you'll return the favor by tweeting or Tumblr posting my video because the video with the most views gets to be a finalist in the contest. So thank you very much, and here's my getting to know you video. Hi Buck, how are you? Long time viewer, love your videos. You should have seen me and my friend Ross when you were on live with Kelly. Uh, every morning we would get up and like, texting each other furiously while you were going on the show. Oh, it was everything to us. You need to be on other shows um, that I can see, so uh, we could do that every morning. My name is John, I am 23 years old, 23 years young. I currently live in Austin, Texas. Before that, I lived in Dallas my entire life. My pets, spouses, children, and siblings can all be summed up into uh, my two dogs. I've got a Pomeranian named Pikachu and a Chihuahua named Twiggy. They are my precious angels. My little chimichanga, hello. No spouse or children. I do have one sibling, she is 18 years old, and her username is Genelicious. I would think that I would take the first 10 million and I would like give like the first million to like some charity that I like and then um, I would give the rest like the rest of the 10 million the other 9 million I would be like you know what you've listened to my stories complaining about everything um, BFFs here's a million dollars for you so you can shut up and leave me alone and um, don't say I never did anything for you so like um, I have a BFF named Madison I'd be like here Madison here's a million dollars for you go buy yourself an Xbox same thing with like my other friends and like maybe my sister Jennifer I'd give them a million dollars so that way that if they invested it correctly they would be set for a while and it'd be perfect so um, then with the rest of it I love traveling and I love um, traveling so I would like buy different houses in different places probably so that way I could have like permanent vacation spots and um, it would be great so there we go well, um, this is 2012 and not 1992, so I do not subscribe to any magazines. I read a lot of blogs, a lot of music blogs, a lot of K-pop blogs, and those are my favorite when you do K-pop videos. So yeah, I don't subscribe to any magazines. Sometimes I'll read my mom's uh, women's magazines where they talk about like, you know, losing weight, but also how to bake things, which seems contradictory, but whatever, I like to read them while I poop. I love The New Normal, that is my new favorite show, and of course I love Modern Family, the original, and Glee is really good this year, like season three they kind of lost me, it was pretty boring, but I love the new stuff in New York, it is so good, uh, so much drama, I wish they would just drop the high school stuff, like nobody cares anymore, just focus on the New York stuff, the two characters everyone likes the best is are in New York now, so let's just focus on that, you get what I'm saying? Um, and then other than that, I'm watching X Factor because of Britney. Um, and yeah, girl power. I love Tyler Oakley. Right now, he is my favorite. He's probably one of the only ones that I watch, like, consistently every week. Before that, um, when I first started YouTube, way back in 2007, my favorites were Brookers and The Wine Cone. But Brookers does not post, really, anymore, which is sad. So, you know, Tyler Oakley. This is such a hard decision because I like so much music. Um, I love K-pop, like I said, so my favorite K-pop song of all time is Hello by Shiny or I'm the Best or Can't Nobody by 2 e one Those are my two favesies. Besides K-pop, I'm in the Avril Lavigne fan club. There's my Avril Lavigne poster. One of the things I'm most proud of in my life is my YouTube channel. Um, I've been doing it for five years. I love it. I think it's fun. I love telling everyone about it. Um, don't have a huge following. I'm like your favorite local coffee shop, your favorite hole-in-the-wall coffee shop, or your favorite hole-in-the-wall. Or your favorite hole. Other than that, I am an Eagle Scout. I hated doing Scouts. I thought it was stupid, um, but it is something that I did for like, I don't know what, like 12 years of my life. And so just because of the le the longevity of it and um, actually accomplishing it, I'm proud of that moment as well. 
I think that I am the friend that is the fun one that I will, uh, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> like, uh, I feel like I'm more like the friend you go and do fun stuff with rather than the friend that you go and like talk to about your problems. Although I will listen, but I'm not like a serious friend. I am more fun and lighthearted and I am the one that usually initiates doing fun things and all that sort of good stuff. There's like my style that I actually am and there's that style that I wish that I was and wish that I could afford. So like the style that I wish that I could afford or wish that I was is more like hipster, urban outfitters of uh, style. Here's a couple pictures of them so you know what I mean. But what my real style is, is like t-shirts and skinny jeans and that's about it. Or my look has been described as grandpa because I have a lot of cardigans. I really like it when you talk about music. I don't really watch much TV other than like a few like NBC comedies and that's usually not what you talk about. So I like it when you do music, specifically K-pop. So I really love your um, your My Ish channel videos, but as far as like specifically What the Buck, I love it when you talk more about music. My least favorite topics are when you talk about like daytime TV. I'm 23 years old. I'm not like a 40 year old housewife sitting at home bored eating uh, Ritz crackers and cheese nips. I don't care what's happening on The View. I just don't. Yeah, I think you should break up the what the buck topics into separate videos. I would rather see you talk for like two minutes about one topic than one video where you're speaking about something for like 10 seconds, you know? So I think it'd be better if you made separate videos or maybe just pick like a couple topics per week instead of trying to do like all of them and really go more into the topic. Instead of being like, okay, here's Snooki, here's what happened with her, let's move to the next topic, taking like a couple minutes, talking about the details of it, what you think of it, blah, 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 asking for reactions. I think that would be a little bit better. And me being a consumer, I would care about that a little bit more, being like, okay, well, this is a topic about Snooki. She's gonna talk about Snooki, let's go watch this video about Snooki. Rather than it's titled about Snooki, but you're gonna talk about a million different other things before you talk about Snooki. You know what I mean? I think it'd be a little bit easier on you because then you wouldn't have to find so much stuff going on. You just pick the couple things that you really like and talk about them a little bit more in the videos. And I think overall, it would be a better viewing experience for everyone. Thank you so much, Buck, for watching. If anyone else watched this, please subscribe, please like the video, comment, and everything like that. I deserve some love too, I think. OMFG Johns 2. Thanks again and bye bye.